No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is... She went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? This is serious. I think she's been kidnapped. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. A statement? They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself. But something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. She'll be okay. Trust me. I'm not about to take that chance. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing persons, Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall. And I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description? She's Asian American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man or a woman? It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person and begin to investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye.